Hey guys, this video will help you master your multiplication facts in just five hours. I will walk you through some tips that are super easy to follow along. As you can see, this times table chart shows all the facts that needs to be mastered. That's way too many. Stick till the end to see how you can break this in digestible bites and master all of these in five hours. Let's get started. Welcome back. This is Matt Treasure's tip number one. Use commutative property. The commutative property states that the two factors used in multiplication can be swapped without changing the product. What it really means is when you switch the two numbers in multiplication, the answer remains the same. Let's use the commutative property to our advantage. Draw a line diagonally across the chart. Let's see. 9 times 5 gives 45. So does 5 times 9, which also gives 45. As you can see, 45 is on the top half and the bottom half of the chart. Let's look at another example. 7 times 3 is 21. 3 times 7 is also 21. 21 is in both half of the chart. So basically, one half of the chart is a mirror image of the other. So if you master one section, you technically have mastered all. So let's remove the bottom half. Let's move to tip number two. The identity property states that a number multiplied by one maintains its identity. Multiplying by one doesn't change anything. Since it's simple and easy to remember, let's go ahead and remove them off the chart. Tip number three, focus on tens. Any number multiplied by 10 technically ends with a zero. It's as simple as that. Now that we know the tens facts, let's go ahead and remove them. Tip number four is super easy. Simply use your fingers and skip count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. If you need to find 3 times 5, skip count 5, 10, 15. 3 times 5 is 15. Or if you need to find 8 times 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 8 times 5 gives you 40. Now that you know the 5's times table, let's go ahead and remove them from the chart. Before we move on to the next tip, make sure that you click the subscribe button down below. Tip number five is all about using the 11's trick. 11 times three is 33. 11 times five is 55. Eight times 11 is 88. Six times 11 is 66. You get the pattern. See how easy this can be? Let's swipe this off the chart now. Tip number six. Your fingers are once again your best friends when you want to remember the two's time table facts. In this case, rather than skip counting by fives, let's skip count by twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. If you need to reach 4 times 2, simply skip count. 2, 4, 6, 8. Or if you need to reach 7 times 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 7 times 2 is 14. Are you ready to remove them from the chart? Let's do it. You are on the way to success. Just a little more tips. You will have fun with the nines. If you want to find nine times six, bend your sixth finger. The fingers on the left are tens. The fingers on the right are ones. So count with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Nine times six is 54. Let's try another one. Nine times four. Bend your fourth finger. The fingers on the left are tens. The fingers on the right are ones. Nine times four gives you 36. Now that you have a trick on your sleeve for the nines times table, let's knock it off the chart. Twelves times table facts. The most dreaded by all. You can make it easy for you by using this simple technique. Simply break the twelve as ten plus two. 10 times 4 is 40. 2 times 4 is 8. 40 plus 8 gives you 48. 
Let's try another one. Break the 12 as 10 plus 2. 6 times 10 is 60. 6 times 2 is 12. 60 plus 12 is 72. Now that you have a strategy for tackling the 12 times table facts, let's erase them from the chart. The last tip is about using perfect squares. A 3 by 3 square is made up of 3 rows and 3 columns, which gives a total of 9 squares. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. 6 times 6 is 36. 7 times 7 is 49. And 8 times 8 is 64. It pays to really know these perfect squares, and you will use these in middle school and beyond. These facts are the ones we will erase now. That's it. You are now left with these 13 times tables facts to be mastered. You can do this. Now that you know the tips, let's move to action. During the first hour, focus on ones, the tens, and the fives. The second hour, focus on the elevens and the twos. The third hour focus on the nines and the twelves. The fourth hour focus on the perfect square. And last, focus on the remaining 13 products. My recommendation is for you to stagger these in digestible bites over five days rather than doing it in five consecutive hours. You can do this. Thank you for watching this video.